All right, hi guys, welcome back to another video. So if you're new here, my name is Keegan. I'm 15 years old and I'm a reseller on eBay in Poshmark. So I just go around and uh, thrift at different places like uh, consignment stores and like uh, thrift stores and like garage sales so it can sell it on online on those platforms to make a profit so it can save for a car, college, and then just buy things for myself. So I went to uh, gar a couple garage sales, a consignment store, and then uh, a couple of thrift stores, and I found some pretty good things. I actually did pretty well at the uh, garage sales, and I usually don't find much, but I found lots of shoes, and uh, I needed to get this filmed because so because I have a lot of shoes. I don't really I like sourcing shoes, but I don't like listing shoes. So I decided I would uh, create a reseller mystery box. So I know Heather from Canary Closet, she likes to buy mystery boxes. So I asked her if she wanted one and she said yes. So uh, I think I'm gonna have either one or two more. Some, a couple of these pairs are gonna be in the box, but not all of them. But I just wanted to show you guys what I found first because I'm getting that out to her tomorrow. Um, okay, so the first, I'll start with like the first Goodwill I went. I will start by saying I have no business sourcing uh, and all of this will not be listed. So if you are interested in anything, just leave like a comment down below or uh, reach out to me on uh, like, or to me on like Instagram. I'm the teen reseller on all platforms or whatever, but I'm joined by Rosie. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to put her in her cage for a little bit because she is trying to dig through the bag. So yeah, if you know here, I have nine pets and Rosie is one of them. So yeah. Okay, here are the only pair of shoes I found at the first uh, it was a Goodwill, and I'm not sure if I've ever found this brand or even tried it before. It's AGL, which is super expensive. Uh, that's the name, Attilo. Okay, not... I'm guessing it's like an Italian brand because it's made in Italy. But these are great size and great condition, and they're just like a classic style. They have like an AGL thing there, and the sole looks pretty good. So I think I might send these to the real real. Uh, this brand doesn't have the best resale value, but, um, actually, I think I've found this brand before, but they were, like, a flat, and they were, like, pretty worn, and these are a great size at 41 so I decided to try those out for $5. Alright, somebody donated their entire, like, high-end jeans collection. It, w it wasn't, like, um, mother or anything, but, like, think, I'll just show you the brands. Uh, she had, like, some J-brand and True Religion that I don't didn't get but all of her stuff was like decent sizes um this is the only pair that's a size 28 but usually they're like they were like a 29 or 30 uh mostly 29 these are 28 and they're the ag uh the jesse blue cut so i know this is it this is one of their older labels uh and i pass on this label sometimes but uh I, i've never really tried out this style before so i just want to see how it does ag is like one of my best selling brands it just does well for me and the hems look really great on these. Uh, so I decided to try these out. I might list them maybe around like $40 and just hope for like maybe 30. So uh, this is their back pocket. They have like the AG and then that little patch up there. All right, uh, I don't always get this print either, but I've sold this style before. So all I have to do on Poshmark is just copy the listing and change the size and add new measurements. So it's Citizens of Humanity, but this is the Elson Straight. And black and the last pair I had sold for like 31 and these are a better size so more explaining like 31 to 38 or 35 to 38 but we'll see uh, they're in good condition so these are size 29 I think yeah all right this is another sense sins of humanity but these are like a wide leg so wide leg and every time I have wide leg I like when it has like the really a big like hem line i just think that's pretty trendy and so citizens of humanity these are the mid the hutton medium rise wide leg and so so i did give these a try this is their back pocket and then the last pair i picked up from her collection button fly Citizens of Humanity, and these are like a Dylan relaxed boy jeans to boyfriend style, which is great. 
Um, I don't always get citizens of community. I would say I like AG better, but uh, mm -hmm. Mother is definitely my favorite. She did not have any. Maybe she's on, she's wearing Mother, her Mother collection right now, and then she'll donate that later. But, so, I think she actually had a pair of Rag and Bone too, which I don't really like selling Rag and Bone. This is for my sister. Uh, she doesn't watch my videos, so uh, I can give it to her later. That's like a birthday gift. It's like a Space Jam. I'm not sure if it's vintage, but she loves Space Jam. I like Space Jam. We don't like the LeBron James Space Jam, but we like the Michael Jordan Space Jam. And then this is the Michael Jordan Space Jam, I believe. So, yeah. And that has like Space Jam on the sleeve, so... I've been leaving this brand behind, and I'm not really sure why I got this. It's Gymshark, which doesn't do well for me. Men's size medium, just like a blue t-shirt. This was, was like $2.50. And I should have left this one behind, but I'm not sure why I didn't. <coughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So they have, like, elastic waist, and they're also Gymshark, but they're missing, like, this part. And I was like, oh, I can just, like, replace that. But, like, I mean, they'd only sell for, like, $25, even if they had that. And, like, it has, like, the logo down here. You, can, you, you can't you can see it because it's so faded. So, I don't know why I got that, but I don't know. All right, Jack and Ryan taught me about this brand. Uh, I just thought I'd try it out. Um, so, I guess that's, like, the little logo. Oh, that's the brand Soft Serve, and that's, like, their logo. Uh, I'll show you the... They said they're, like, good bread and butter like maybe like $30 or so which I was like okay I'll just try it I mean it never hurts to try things out soft serve made in USA says medium um I don't always get this brand either but this is a good like substantial piece from this brand so it's Vince and usually when I come home Vince is like always flawed like I don't know why but Vince is like flawed like all the time um, so this is just like a button, two button blazer, and I sit in this nice color. So I decided to give it a try, and I might send it into the real reel or something if it takes too long to sell. Probably set around 50. Okay, then I discovered somebody's entire oh, so they were like just rolling new rack after new rack out, and they have like decent stuff the entire um, like jeans person the stuff was on that and so it was like the gym shark and so was like this eileen fisher ladies stuff so this is an extra small and i would not pick this up by itself it's just like a silk shell tank so nothing big but i'm gonna lot everything i found together um also all of her stuff this is like the most substantial one of the most substantial pieces this is a pp oh my gosh which is a small petite so every time it says p that means it's small it says small petite i hate selling petite but uh there's two brands i've sold petite in and one of them is eileen fisher and the other is ag jeans so basically i was like well i'll try it eileen fisher small has it done amazing for me but i'll just see how it goes so this is like a almost like a blazer jacket type thing with like a three four sleeve black okay these are uh, oh, this is just, like, a shirt, I guess. So, and this is, like, they're just, like, um, stretch, uh, system washable stretch fabric. Um, so, once you feel this fabric, you really know what it feels like. Or this is actually, like, a good piece. Like, this is, Island Fisher is like a definitely a more like mature brand, but these are actually like decent. These are uh, another small petite, and they're just like this black like lounge jogger, which I was like, these are actually like kind of trendy. So my sister might want these, but I was thinking of lining the whole lot around like eighty to like a hundred dollars, but I might list them at like one twenty five and just see how it goes. But like. I mean, there are five pieces, so like $25 a piece. I feel like that's a good deal for somebody, but yeah. Uh, another island fish. These are just the system washable pants. So, I see they're like really stretchy and comfortable. So, oh, never mind. Here are the AG. Uh, okay. Here's the label I like to pick up. 
It's just like that. These are the angel boot cut. So these are just like a black. And I think these are the size 30, I want to say. Or 29. One of them was a size 30. But yeah, so she has definitely nice stuff. Uh, I think the ragged bone had like wear on the hem or something. But uh, and then she had like J brand, which J brand doesn't do bad for me. But I just don't like to spend a lot on it. And everything was like $6 for all those jeans. So I just didn't get them. But, yeah. Alright, then I went to another Goodwill and found... I was there for two hours and found nothing. Uh, my mom dropped me off because she... So it's an area I don't go to very often. And she was like, I can just, like, drop you off at the Goodwill. And I was like, okay, sure. Um, and I was there for two hours. I, like, literally found, like, five things. So it wasn't a great trip. Uh, but... I found one amazing item from a brand I never thought I would ever find. And yeah, so these are just basic canes. I think my mom's gonna keep these. I don't think they're very cute, but like whatever. They have like a dollar shoe bin and these were in the dollar shoe bin because they have like excess of shoes. Actually, somebody found Rothy's there like a week before I went. So I guess that's cool. That's cool. But I've never found Rothy's before, but. This is another gym shark. I think my sisters might keep this. It's like a cropped v-neck and it has like the little gym shark logo. All right, I'm not sure if I want to do the exciting find yet, but um, okay, I need to go to the bottom of the bin. All right, all right these were also in the dollar shoe bin, and actually, no, these were not. I think these were like six dollar or five or six dollars. I don't know, but I just could not leave them behind. So I love the style of these. Are like. There's like cat hair. They're like a green velvet shoe. I think these are actually decent for springtime and holiday time. They're Mark Fisher, size six and a half. So I thought these were nice. I don't always get Mark Fisher, but like I like those. Um, okay, and then these are on the dollar shoe bin. These are like literally brand new Stilettos, size 11, which is good. And they're just like a espadrille. So like somebody already had them like stuffed. So like literally like brand new. So, for a dollar, I'm not going to say no. Okay, then the most exciting find. So, I paid $2.48 for that. And it's Izumiyaki Plantation. So, it's a size small. And, okay, they had it marked as a woman's shirt. And... It honestly looks like a woman's shirt, but I think it might be men's because of the buttons. But, like, honestly, I don't know. Um, so, it's made in Japan. And when I found... So, this was in the women's section. And when I found it... Actually, it was the women's large. I had looked through all the tops. Because I don't like looking through tops. I rarely do. And it's probably because why... It's probably because... It's probably why I don't find some brands. Like, I've never found Bryn Walker in the actual wild. But, like, I guess I found Izumiyaki. So, I saw it. So, Cordy from Common Text taught me this brand. And I think she found a dress by them about a year ago. And it sold for $1,000. Which is insane. This won't. This probably retailed for 1000 to $800, $1,000 is what I checked uh, when I looked at, like, comps and stuff. But I think... So I'm going to send it to the real real uh, because it's a button down shirt because I'm not really sure what it is. I think they're going to say it's men's, but sometimes they honestly screenshot their photos and uh, I use them on my listings. So, I mean, I guess that's like a little, they've, okay, they, um, they've really made me mad on some of the item. Like they listed, I can't remember, something like really low. And it sold, and I was like, you actually have to be kidding, because it was worth way more. But that's the risk you run, I guess. Uh, so, I'm just curious to see what they say. But, oh, when I found it, I saw the Izumiyaki, and I about, like, I literally about died. And then I saw the Plantation. So, I wasn't sure if, like, Plantation meant, like, like a lower-end line or something. So, I, I was, like, getting, I was, like, literally shaking, checking up comps, like, on Poshmark. Like typing it in and I was like oh please just be normal like just be like re regular as Miyaki or something and it was it was so I was very excited um 
comps are a little bit all over. Some dresses sell for over a thousand and some shirts sell for like 200. So I thought my list is at like 250 once I get it back from the real real. But if it says too long, I'm hoping for over a hundred. So exciting find there. Definitely keep your eye out for this brand. Um, and that's everything from that store. All right, I went to, to uh, I went, so every, the last Tuesday of the month, our Goodwills have a thing called $2 Tuesday where all the clothes are $2 if they're priced like $7 or under. Uh, then I went and I was like, whatever, I didn't find any clothes because it's usually uh, like picked over and stuff. But these are a pair of Fry sneakers and they were $6, $6. So, uh, yeah, I was, these are, I was shocked these were still there because it's usually picked over and stuff, but these were not. So I saw them and they were just sitting on the bottom shelf like this. And I thought they were Vince. Like you, I can spot like Vince shoes from like a mile away and like, oh, those look like Vince. Like they were not. And I'm honestly happy they weren't Vince because I like fry better than Vince shoes. But Vince has good quality. I don't always get Vince, but I like to get fry. So these are... These are weird. These are cork, corks by Corkies. And they're just like a wedge sandal. But so all around on both shoes, like, like this leather is like separated, but like, I can't tell if like, that's like the actual style or if it's not supposed to do that. I think it is, but uh, they were $6 and cork is, cork is a brand by Corkies. But I went, I asked like the person and I was like, would you, I don't know. I mean, it has a style number, size seven and a half, so I can like look it up. Uh, but I mean, I guess we'll, we'll just sell as is, but yeah. Okay. I think we're on to the garage sale bag now and like can send it the bag. So that's exciting. All right, so the first garage sale I went, or it's not like the first one. The first thing I have, uh, so they have these pair of like sandals and their dance go. $5. I like selling this style of dance go. I might let's use it like $60. They're size like 38, which is like an eight, eight and a half, I believe. Or seven and a half to eight, maybe, or something like that. Uh, yeah, these are in great condition. And for $5, I was like, okay. And then these she had priced at 10, but I asked if she would do like 10 for both shoes and she said yes um so these are Birkenstocks but they have like a little bit of wear I actually the size is like kind of rubbed off but she does have a size on there so she said they're a seven and a half to eight so I'm just gonna list them as an eight because I think they are um so yeah but the footbed has definitely has a little bit of wear but, like, the soles in, like, excellent condition, so maybe she got them, like, resold, but, like, I don't know. She also had a pair of Bionics, but, um, she, like, switched out the sole to, like, Dr. Scholl's soles, so I was, I left those behind because I was, like, well, Bionics are kind of known for, like, their soles and stuff. That's what Kelly Schaffner said, so I trust Kelly Schaffner because she's, like, the queen of Bionic. So this is a reason I want garage sailing. So this person advertised that they're having a garage sale and they're like, we have like brands from like Bowdoin to like Good American and stuff. And I was like, Good American, I, I, I've only found once. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I went and I woke up on a Saturday morning at like 7.30 so it could be there by 8. Just to find out when I get there, they like pre-sold to people. They're only open on Saturday. I was so mad. But I found just two things. Uh, she had a pair of Anthropology sleep shorts that were still there, but... And her prices weren't bad. I was just really upset because I wouldn't have wake, woke up that early on a Saturday morning. These are Burke by Birkenstock. And these are the Boston Clock. I actually have a pair of these and they're actually pretty trendy at my school. They're size 37. So I think my sister might keep these. We'll see. And then these are just a pair of Stuart Weidsman. Uh, the Burks were three. These were five. So I paid eight. Overall, I actually did pay eight, so. I like this, like, detail at the thing, so. The, yeah, and these are size. Eight, eight. All right, then I went to a consignment store, 
and this is stuff I actually like paid up for. So my sister actually paid me back for this, which is shocking. It's a Lululemon like scuba hoodie. It's this pink. And it's a size like four or something, I believe. Uh, so we'll see. I'm not really sure. I think it's a size four, but um, anyways, but that yeah, size four. Uh, so and this is actually, if you didn't know, this is like a hair tie, emergency hair tie. So you could just like undo it and then it's a hair tie. So it's pink and it has like these sparkle like details, which is um interesting. And it has like the cuff like thumb hole so this is this is actually in like really great condition and uh so they had it priced at okay well i think my sister took off the tag but it was like 38 dollars but it was 30 percent off so it ended up being like 26 so i just said it was 28 because she can't do math all right then i found this brand if you can tell i mean you probably can't but like a goldie again i this is my fourth time finding a goldie in like the last month i've never found it before but like i just have been finding it so these are just button fly and right away i knew what they were or actually my mom found these so consignment stores are like a great option for um just teaching people about brands so i like to go to consignment stores with my mom and I'm just like, uh, I make her like watch for like flip through racks and stuff. She knows jeans pretty well. She can do the jeans by herself. But I'm just like, uh, like it's, it's just like good, like teaching because it's curated. So I'm not necessarily buying the like, things there, but like say I found like a, um, a reformation dress there that's expensive. I, I haven't, but like. I could just be like, oh, mom, this is a good brand. I'm not paying this price for it. But if you see it at Goodwill or, or something, like, get it, like, put it in the car. And just other brands like that. So she, like, becomes more familiar with them. Um, but, yeah, she found these. Uh, I told her to just go through the shorts because I had to do another section. And she came back with these. So these are size 27. And these are the Parker shorts. So, like, distressed. And they have, like, a rip in the back there. Um, so yeah, I know what they were because this is like a trendy goldie style, 100% cotton, and yeah. So, I think these are going to be a little bit big for my older sister, but I think she's going to try them on. These were actually only $25, $24.50, which actually isn't that bad of a price. So, I think I'm expecting around like $80 for these if she doesn't want them, so. Alright, then this is on the clearance rack for $3. This is just a Jay McLaughlin, like, boat neck top. Like three four sleeves size large so and then speaking of um this brand so i've never found this brand in the wild i got it once from like canary closet in a swap box uh so it's like this peplum printed double wrap so it has like a wrap coming on this side and a genuine wrap i've never seen anything like this from Bryn Walker. It was three dollars which i the surprise was still there it's a size large so i was like okay i don't know how this will do necessarily but it's just 94 piss 94 percent polyester and uh six percent elastic but i was i thought i'd give it a try so that is absolutely everything i'm not sure if i included these two but this is at a garage sale i paid seven dollars for both of these they were both five but then, like, when I went up to him, I was, like, ready to pay. And he goes, okay, how about seven? And I, I was not arguing with that because it's cheaper. So these are just Jack Rogers, which I've never seen a style like this before. They don't have, like, a classic, like, whip stitch detail. They have, like, a logo right there. And they're, like, they're, like such great condition. And then these were five. And then uh, these are, like, not new in box, but with box uh fit flops in like excellent condition so don't always get flip flop flip flop because they don't do that well for me but they have like a squishy footbed and they're actually a size eight and i was like i'm gonna send these to kelly schaffner because i thought they just didn't have like the, the toe thing but they actually had the toe thing so i'm just gonna list them uh i'm always on the lookout for a size eight eight and a half fit flop that doesn't have the toe thing for kelly schaffner but um Maybe they are new. I don't know. Like they're. I'm just gonna mark them as 
good pre-owned, but the person said new $5, but that's a good price. So $7 for both of those. I thought that was pretty fair. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your favorite find. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe and like like the video. So I hope you guys are finding great items and having great sales. And I will see you guys in the next video.